Okay, you should have a copy of the Articles of Confederation. Looks just like this. And we're going to read just a couple little sections of it. Um, first off, notice that it says article. And so just highlight that real quick. And I'm going to add a comment. Basically, like an article is kind of like a chapter um, or a section. And that's important because when we get to the Constitution, the oftentimes the Constitution has like article. It does have article one, two, three, four, five, just kind of like section one, section, you know, chapter one. And I'm going to skip directly to article two and let's go through it and, and, um, and see what it says. So it starts with each state retains its sovereignty, freedom, and independence every, in every power, jurisdiction, and right, which is not by this confederation expressly delegated to the United States in Congress assembled. So one thing to just take note of is that in the confederation, states – are very powerful um, and i'll probably type things wrong about a million times states are very very powerful in the confederation matter of fact they are the main power not this confederation this can it's a confederation like a confederation by definition is weak it's not a union like we think of the united states of america um hence the word united um this is like not really united it's like hey most of the states have power article three let's skip down um, the said states hereby severally enter into a league of friendship with each other, a firm league of friendship. I love that phrase. That's the one that everybody always laughs about um, historically. So go ahead and grab this. So um, it's friendship, not a strong union. Um, you know, it's just like, hey, we're going to be friends. Um, and let, we'll find out why in just a second. With each other for their common defense. There it is. That's the main reason for the friendship. It's just for common defense. Um, the security of their little, oh, I didn't, I deleted that. All right, common defense, um, yep. Common defense, main reason. That's the reason for this friendship. Um, it's in order to secure their liberties, and their mutual and general welfare, binding themselves together to assist each other against all force offered to or attacks made upon them or any of them on account of religion, sovereignty, trade, or any pretense whatsoever. So it's pretty clear, like, this is like a compact between a group of states. Like, hey, we are going to bind together simply for our defense in case Britain or France or someone else decides to invade us. Article 4. The free inhabitants of these states shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities, go ahead and highlight that word, of free citizens in, in the several states. So free, privileges and immunities are just the um, rights in the state. So this encourages um, people to travel, encourages travel between states. And so if you were going to go visit, you know, if you live in Massachusetts and you're going to go to New Hampshire, New Hampshire can't discriminate against you. Like whatever um, privileges you have or rights you have in one state, then you get them in the other state. And this uh, encourages, you know, cross travel, or encourages trade, um, and maybe even uh, people moving to different states. And if you get there, you, you're going to get the same rights as you would in the other states. All right, Article 4, done. Okay, going to Article 5. In determining questions in the United States in Congress assembled, each state shall have one vote. So um, this it means one vote equals equal. Um, one vote means equal representation. So we'll off to the side, highlight that, and put equal representation for each state. So it didn't matter how large of a state you were, you were going to have just one vote. Um, whereas California today in Congress has... 54 votes. Um, in this case, you know, not that California existed, but they would have the exact same representation as Vermont. I mean, it didn't matter. Freedom of speech and debate in Congress shall not be impeached or questioned in any court or place out of Congress. I love this. Freedom of speech is not a general right. It's just free speech in Congress. Notice that? You don't have free speech necessarily outside of Congress but you have free speech inside of Congress. Interesting. Um, Article six, but every state shall keep a well-regulated and disciplined militia sufficiently armed and accoutred. Um, no state shall engage in any war without consent of the United States. So 
this is important. No state shall engage in any war without consent of the United States Congress assembled. Um, so that means that um, under the Confederation's national government um, right to war. So they have the power to go to war, um, and but the states do not. So that's an important national power that they actually give to the Confederation. All charges of war and other expenses, um, all charges of war and other expenses shall be incurred for the common defense or general welfare, shall be defrayed out of a common treasury, which shall be supplied by the several states. Okay, this is important. So money shall be supplied by the several states. States supply taxes. Notice that that means that the national government can't tax. Like they have to beg the states for um, money. And that's where the national government gets money is from the states in proportion to the value of all land within each state. So they're going to do like a, it's basically like a property tax per state. And um, each state's supposed to send in. The taxes for paying that proportion shall be levied, laid and levied by the authority and direction of the state legislatures. So legislatures have the power over and right, direction of the legislatures. States, um, power over taxes, and whether they actually get sent. And this is going to be a problem because we're going to see that um, some of the states will just won't pay the taxes they're supposed to. And lastly, Article 9, the United States in Congress assembled. Notice it's not the United States of America. It's the United States in Congress assembled, meaning that the United States only actually exists when Congress is actually assembled. So it's not a very strong union. They shall have the sole exclusive right and power for determining war and peace. Okay, we already hit that. Like, that's the one big power. Entering into treaties and alliances. Okay, so they do have that power. All right. Um, we have the treaty power. Um, that's an important thing to remember. So war and peace treaties. The United States of Congress assembled shall never engage in a war, nor enter into any treaties or alliances, nor coin money, nor regulate the value thereof, meaning the money, nor borrow money in the credit United States, nor appropriate money, nor agree upon any vessels of war to be purchased or built, built or purchased, or nor, or the number of land or sea forces to be raised, nor appoint a commander in chief of the army or navy, think like George Washington, unless nine states assent to the same. So off to the side, nine out of 13 states must agree to pass a law. So that's what it costs. Nine out of thirteen. That's pretty. That's pretty high. That's like a over sixty percent. That's a pretty high um, standard. The United States in Congress shall also be the last resort and appeal of all disputes and uh, differences. So last resort means like. What does that mean? Uh, it shall be the last resort. A last resort means like the final court. Um, so Congress equals the Supreme Court. Like there's no judicial system. Um, there's no judicial system, but like if you have an issue, um, you can go to Congress and they'll decide it. But it is not like a court system. It'd be last repeal on all disputes and differences that herein may arise between two or more states concerning boundaries, jurisdiction, or any other cause whatsoever. So no judicial system. Notice what else is missing is there's no executive branch. Um, there's just Congress and that's it. All right, cool. We're going to stop here and we're going to jot down some notes on Articles Confederation.